This was Officer Mike Tinarello, who is, uh, we, we honored him at the block party. Uh, he's the uh, NYPD citywide traffic task force person who sits for a good portion of the day at West Haines and Battery Place. I don't know that he's there every day, but he's there most days. I called him up to see if he had information. He was there the day that this accident took place about seven, ten days ago. He was not, but he'll get me a report for tomorrow, so I'll publish that for anybody. Uh, we have still had issues with New York City DOT. Jeff and I probably called on them for warrant studies for the last five years, six years. And it, it's, it's not gotten better. Uh, the school opened. Fortunately, a light, so at least we had some traffic control down by the school area, but West Haines and Battery Place is still a problem. And a lot of it does with the configuration of that street is like also. And so we need to, uh, are you Elizabeth? I'm Jocelyn. Oh, I'm sorry. That's fine. Okay. Um, we need, to, uh, we need to focus on this and see if we can get DOT an update on the Warren study for that intersection. Not only that intersection, but the really... South End Avenue. Yeah, the whole area as well as Bowery Place through where right, the school right. is. Because that's, the, the traffic control there is only a light... And it's only during school hours. Only during school hours. And you don't have kids crossing that street at all hours. Yeah. yeah. Um, one more thing. In front of Gateway, recently, the last four or five weeks, there have been lines down the block both ways with cars trying to park there, school buses trying to get through, cabs can't get through, everything's congested for about an hour every morning. I mean, there are a lot of traffic problems in the area that need attention, and, and we, I usually see DOT drive by, you know. Yeah, I'm not sure what the solution is there. It's very difficult. What do you call the Warren study? Warren. Warren. Yeah. Warren. All right, so they put lights on North End Avenue, correct? Yeah. yeah. I don't understand how that happened compared to South End Avenue. I'd like to see that study in comparison to the other one. Goldman Sachs. <laughs> well, yeah, Goldman Sachs. Well, it may also be called in the fact that this, these are not city streets. Yep. Yeah. Well, uh, the New York City Department of Transportation conducted both studies. Mm -hmm. So well, I understand that, that the light was shake shack under the city yard for the other Well, we think there were studies on both, but obviously the north end did get a light just recently, yeah. right. and we're still struggling on south end and west end. I'm quite sure they said in that study that they said they invoked the studies as to why they have the lights. Yeah, but those studies were conducted before the school was open. I too the north end. And you remember as part of the bike share discussion that uh, yeah. Suchi from the Department of Transportation said that's that right. that intersection uh, uh, was, was the subject of a, it wasn't a safe streets program, but some mitigation. I, I believe she said they were going to do new warrant studies yeah. for that whole area yeah. this fall. Yeah. So we actually wanted to, it's actually mentioned after school. Yeah, after school, she wanted to see. She did say that at the meeting. And there's also an intersection of uh, a battery place there. And that's kind of a, that's a kind of triangle. Yeah, we'll Anthony, Anthony yes. nice block party this year. Yes. Great job. Thanks to your help. <laughs> you took care of all the entertainment in the stage.